Collision regulation head-on situation. Let's apply that rules now in our actual navigation. Okay? But let's take a look on the short description of head-on situation first. Alright, stand by. Okay, we have here uh, call rigs head-on situation posters. A good reminder for you guys. Okay, let's uh, take the subsection A. When two power-driven vessels are meeting on reciprocal or nearly reciprocal courses, so as to involve risk of collision, each shall alter her course to starboard so that each shall pass on the port side of the other vessel. All right? Now, in this status of navigations I have right now, let's check what we got the vessels on head-on situation. Whoops, okay, we have very close. Here, still very far, but Global Themis uh, is considered as head-on situation. The rest of the vessel probably might cross ahead of me, but considered also head-on situation. But in the early stage with this situation, showing a little course passing ahead of me, so meaning uh, start altering their course to port side, and I'm also later show my intention to alter my course to port side okay so we pass later on our uh, starboard to starboard side okay now if you took a look your visual or naked eye still very far out there you can see the vessels there okay but that vessel is still very far over there okay but when you take a look on your ARPA and radar you have all ready an assessment of how this vessel movement and where she goes okay if she can safely pass on your or ahead of you so that is your job to continue watch over that vessels fellow mates just a while ago I hear a communications between the vessels who overtake me, which is the Cape Sykes, I'll show you later. And the vessels ahead of me, two vessels ahead of me. And they are applying the head-on situation rules, okay? First of all, this Cape Sykes calling to the two vessels ahead to confirm uh, their intention to pass which side, okay? But because this Cape Sykes vessel uh, find out at first that their intention is going to uh, pass ahead of them going to starboard side so they finally confirm to each other which side they're going to pass so finally they come up with uh, starboard to starboard okay and of course, she's overtaking vessel and I have to uh, keep clearance of her and I have to go to starboard or port side as well to make her more comfortable to pass starboard starboard from the other vessel. Okay, I'll show you on the radar how the status in the radar it looks like, all right? So stand by, or stand by, fellow mates. Okay. This is it, fellow mates. Cape size, Jedi High, and Global Themis and Chimera passing starboard to starboard. Okay? From head on situations, apply the call rig regulation, passing head on or starboard to starboard. That Jedi High capsize. Uh, 
Global Altimix, and Tosima. They're passing starboard to starboard as agreed before uh, situation was head on. Okay, so that's it how we practically apply collision regulations on board. Here we go, fellow mates. This is the closer approach now of head-on situations. And there's a vessel decided to pass starboard to starboard. Okay, one cape size there, another tanker there, and another uh, vessels over there. There's two. Uh, passing starboard to starboard as agreed in the uh, communications okay for confirmations all right now if you try to look on the radar this is how it looks like okay keep size agenda high chusima and global themis global themis is that okay and Chusima is that tanker also tanker vessels okay this is keep size China's vessel both are passing starboard to starboard as agreed in their radio or VHF communications ha, that is how we apply collision regulations on board my fellow mates all right so that's it Coach RG once again, thank you for watching, bye!